Welcome back guys. In this video, I will demonstrate you how we can integrate ServiceNow with WhatsApp. As part of the integration, I will be embedding an icon over here using which we can interact directly with the concerned person. So to move ahead with the integration part, uh, let me directly go ahead and create a UI macro. So this integration is going to be uh, mostly similar to the one which we did last time for Skype. So that is the reason to save time. I'm just directly go, going to go ahead and copy the code which is written over here. And then I will create my UI macro. So let me give the name of my UI macro as WhatsApp chat. And I just copy pasted the whole code. Now this one I will replace with the image name which uh, I have already uh, loaded into the backend using images module whatsapp.ng Remaining code uh, we can use as it is except for uh, minor modifications uh, For example we are not going to use email id we will be using mobile in this case so let me do the corresponding changes over here. Uh, give me this piece of code. I mentioned mob here. So this in this case is going to be mobile underscore phone, which is the name of the mobile phone field in the backend. Now uh, after gliding through the user, I get the mobile phone of the user. So here we also have to uh, make sure that the mobile number which user has, uh, which is already present in the database uh, is the exact number in the exact format of uh, digits. There is no special character like opening or closing braces over there. So to make sure of that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a regex pattern to remove those extra special characters. So this is going to be 0 to 9 okay then to make it for global I'll use this okay now after this code runs I will be getting only the digits present in that mobile number uh, if opening closing braces or even a hyphen or spaces used those will not be part of that those will be replaced with an empty character this is what this code will do now i will replace this part with the whatsapp api which is actually https colon double slash wa dot me okay then my mobile number and also we can pass some uh, default text over here so how to do that we'll see next let me just first go ahead and say this Okay, so now I'm going to pass the text over here, which is going to be question mark text equals to some uh, text, for example, uh, the name of the user. So let me create a variable first for that. Let's say uh, demo text equals to hi space first name of the user so first name of the user I can get through 
user object in that case i will be capturing this data inside this if condition user dot first underscore name okay you can declare this on top so now i have the sample data which i want to pass in my api call to whatsapp i have the mobile number now what so there is one more uh, thing over here that the text whatever text we are planning to pass over here should be you in url encoded format so how can i do that is there is a javascript function which is available for us the name is encode uri component so this will uh, convert my text into a URL encoded format text. I will pass the demo text over here. Okay. So this part of code is complete. Uh, apart from this uh, URL which we have used, we can also use api.whatsapp.com which is so both the lines of code which it the url which is written over here and the one written over here can be used interchangeably okay so now let me go ahead and save this and i will navigate to my incident form now where i want to display the whatsapp icon i'll open this record as of now the icon is not visible because i have not added that ui macro to the dictionary let me right click on this configure dictionary So here I will mention that WhatsApp chat. I'll click on update. Okay, so you can see that WhatsApp icon is available over here. It's visible now. So if I click on it right now, let's see what happens. So it looks like it did not open. So let me check if I have made any mistake, if there's an error in console. Uh, so it says email ID is not defined. So probably I have missed out to remove that, remove that email ID text from somewhere. And here it is, if condition, I'll update this. I reload my form once again and I'll try again if it works for me. Let me click on WhatsApp icon now. So here you can see the sample text which was given by me and it asked me whether you want to interact with this user and it asked me whether you want to open whatsapp desktop app so i clicked on open whatsapp desktop app so the text which i have given as a demo text will also appear in the window once it is open initially whatsapp will verify whether it is a valid number or not okay so the text can be seen over here and this is the same user this is the number same number which is mentioned as part of the user profile okay so this is how the integration with whatsapp works 
and for this to work I have also installed WhatsApp desktop app from Microsoft Store and I have also taken care uh, there, so there are a couple of things let me summarize uh, I have taken care of the uh, spaces or special characters in the number the number should be present in the user profile uh, with a proper country code otherwise WhatsApp will not be able to find out the user profile on WhatsApp. They need to know the country code. For example, plus 91 for India or plus 1 for US. Apart from that, second part is the text which we are passing to that uh, user as a default text should be in the URL encoded format. And the third part is I have installed desktop uh, app of WhatsApp from Microsoft Store for this integration to work. So thank you guys for watching the video.